So now one of the questions that I continue to hear circulating out there is if now 2021 a good time to start a freight broker business or any business for that matter. If we take a look at the landscape and what's happening here in America, now might seem like one of the worst times to start a business. Racial tensions are high, we're in the middle of a pandemic, we have political unrest, and yes, some, I want to emphasize that word some, businesses are struggling to stay afloat. And all of these are very legitimate concerns that definitely should have your attention. So in today's video, we're going to dive into the topic and explore it and see if now is a good time to start a freight broker business in 2021. So let's get into the business. So we're about to jump in real quick here, but before we do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and then hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss anything. And then if you're interested in learning more about the freight broker business, you would like to see somebody actually do the job, go through the steps of moving a load, talking to shippers, talking to carriers, showing you all of the paperwork that moves the load from point A to point B, and then executing the load movement and getting paid, then check out my free five video series titled How the Load Movement Process Works link in the description. So before you go into a business, there are some things that you're going to consider and you're going to say that these things are important to me. I want to take a look at these things before I come in to make sure that this business is right for me. One of the things that people consider is the timing. Is it the right time for me to come into this business? And I think that's a great thing to look at because if the timing is off, then it's going to be off for you. You're not going to be able to get that business or do what you want to do with the business if it doesn't work out with the right time. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. For me, coming into a brick and mortar business right now, any type would be out of time, out of step for me. So it wouldn't jive up with what I believe is a solid business model right now. So I wouldn't put what I need to put into it to make it be what it should. So I wouldn't even attempt to go into a brick and mortar business right now because it just doesn't align with what it is that I wanna do right now. So the timing is off. You have to look at any business that you decide to come in and figure out is the timing right for you? Not anyone else, is it right for you? So when you're taking a look at a freight broker business in 2021, the question that you have to answer, is this the right time? And only you know that answer. Timing is important, but what I think is even more important is choosing the right business model. Because when you choose the right business model, the time of what's happening in the world doesn't matter so much. It's just what it is happening. Nothing much you can do about it. But your business is thrill thriving because you've chosen the right business model. Let's take a look at it. What happens in crises when the country or the world starts to get in trouble? Things start to happen or the train starts to run off the track. One of the first things that you see big companies do is they start cutting the fat. They start getting rid of excess things. Even when it comes to employees, you'll see them start to cut employees. Well, they're doing that to get rid of unnecessary costs, costs that they look at and say, hey, we're going to have to make sure we throw these costs overboard so they don't sink the entire ship. Well, how I look at it is why even start out with a whole lot of cost anyway? Why not start a business that is streamlined, that doesn't have all of that fat? like a freight brokerage. The freight broker business definitely checks the block when it comes down to coming into a business with minimal startup costs, a business that you can start for less than $5,000, and it gives me unlimited earning potential. So I don't know about you, different strokes for different folks, but for me, if a business checks those two blocks, number one, it's a minimal startup cost business, and number two, I have unlimited earning potential, then that's the type of business that I'm willing to start in 2021 or at any time for that matter. So one of the questions some people have about a business is how well does it perform during bad times? And that's a good question because the one thing that we know is that bad times are coming. It's not always going to be clear blue 22 where the sun is shining. Sometimes it's going to storm. And right now, in the world that we're living in, we're currently in a storm. We're in the middle of a pandemic. So I pulled up a couple of articles to see how the trucking industry was performing during these bad times and how the freight broker industry is performing. What I was talking about here is when COVID-19 first entered the U.S. in March, trucking volume spiked to over 10 to 15 percent. Now, the reason for that was, was you remember when people first start to rush out to the stores back in March, almost as if, you know, they were thinking that they weren't going to have an opportunity to buy certain things. So they start buying things in large volumes. Well, when that happened, 
trucking volume spike. Rates went up for a short period of time. But right after that in April, it tanked, went down about 20%. We had that same thing happen in our business. We moved refrigerated freight. So there was a, a huge demand for, for freight, for refrigerated items. So it went up in March and right back in April, it dropped about 20 to 25%. And then spot, right, spot rates followed that same trajectory. And if you look here, it says, however, if you zoomed into the industry level, it was a different story. Some food and consumer food goods manufacturers saw their demand skyrocket to over 60%. Industrial shippers saw their volume swing the other direction. So what you can see here is within our industry, certain sectors of the industry are doing well, certain sectors are not doing so well. That's just how it works in bad times. That's the same way in the stock market. You saw in March, March 23rd, as a matter of fact, the stock market tanked. And then since that time, April and May time frame, and since that time frame, the market has recovered and went on to historic highs. So there's going to be bad times. When you can weather those storms is because you have a good business model. The freight brokerage business model is a solid business model that allows for you to weather those storms, as you can see here. Now let's take a look at the next article that we have here is about freight rates. And it just confirms what, you, what we just talked about. The spot market has been on a wild ride this year. A few weeks in March saw rates go up uh, and then they fell apart in April. Lows were down almost 60% uh, and rates were down nearly 25% in the middle of April. And then May and June, things have dramatically shifted. So that's just how it works. When it first starts, we're in bad times, the question is, can your business weather the storm? Can the business model weather the storm? Freight brokerage is one of those models that, that can definitely do that. So, okay, so here's another article about the truckload rate spot versus contract. And as you can see, it says spot rates are not the same as the entire freight market. Dry van has been especially strong. Low volume, well over twice as strong as rates, 40% higher year over year. Much of this is due to the automotive market, which is a big part of dry van which has been making up for lost time after the spring shutdown. But the spot market is not the freight market. The overall freight market clearly has not recovered. I wanted to put this in because I'm, I want to make sure that you understand. I'm not saying that the freight market, the trucking market is not affected by the pandemic. You can't have a worldwide pandemic and the, the, the country gets shut down and you not be affected, your industry not be affected. It's definitely going to be affected. The question is, can it endure? And the freight broker and, trust in, and the truck industry has shown uh, the ability to be able to endure. If you see it says the year in, year in review, trucking emerges strong after challenging 2020. I don't think you see that entire part over up there on the article, but that's what it says. Then it comes down and says, trucking emerged from one of the most challenging years on record, strong and battle tested as robust freight demand propelled by soaring demand for consumer goods amid the coronavirus pandemic boosted spot rates and lifted financial results for many publicly traded fleets. Shippers will probably pay more for freight heading into 2021 after the pandemic lockdown drove many small truckers out of business and cargo demand rebounds faster than the economy, said the CEO of C.H. Robinson. Now, what they're talking about here is saying that because of the coronavirus, the pandemic, it has driven some small businesses out of business. Now, what that means is when small trucking businesses go out of business, that's going to put a whole lot more pressure on capacity. And anytime you have a capacity decrease, that always favors brokers because shippers aren't able to find trucks as easy as they could when trucks are readily available. Now they want to use brokers in order to find trucks to move their load. So that favors us, but of course, it's still more pressure on us to find trucks. I actually like when it's pressure on the industry to find trucks because that puts my services in high demand. How do I get out of this business? What is the exit strategy? And I know you're probably saying, get out, exit strategy? Why would I need that? 
<laughs> my business is going to grow to be the multi-million dollar business that I expected to be. And it very well could be. But the fact of the matter is, is that most of us start a couple of businesses before we find the one that we say, this is my baby and this is the one that I'm going to grow into that dream business that I've always dreamed about. Most of us have to go through a few of them. So I think it's very, very important to have an exit strategy, have a business that you can exit relatively easy. And a freight brokerage is definitely one of those businesses. I want you to think about it for a minute. Let's say you came into a trucking business as compared to a freight brokerage business. Now that trucking business is going to require that you spend a whole lot more upfront money than you would if you came into a freight brokerage business. So that would mean that it's going to be a little bit harder to exit something that you have more money locked up in. So that's why I like a freight brokerage business because it allows for me to exit without having to worry about, oh, I got way too much money in it. I got to keep holding on to it to try to make some of my money back. No, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have a whole lot of money invested at all up front. If I have gone into this business, I've been in it for 12 months and I'm looking at it, seeing that it's not going in the direction that I wanted to go. I've put all that I can into it and it's still not going there. Then I know, hey, I got to stop reassess things and possibly look at exiting this business and going into something else. Always come into a business, I definitely think at least you should, with an exit strategy. So the information that I just provided will hopefully help you determine which is the best direction for you to go in in 2021, whether that's starting a freight broker business, starting a different type of business, or maybe you're saying, hey, I don't want to start a business right now. At the end of the day, it's your decision and hopefully we can just help guide you in that decision and make the best decision for you. So I hope this video has been helpful. I wish you the very best in all that you endeavor to do. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.